New details are emerging this morning about the gunman. We're piecing together a picture of Adam Lanza, but still left with the question of why he would commit this horrific act, why he would target such small children. ABC chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross has been tracking that part of the story since the very beginning. And what have you learned, Brian? Well, good morning, Elizabeth. Authorities say they expect more progress today as they figure out the how and the why of what happened. But even veteran detectives and agents are having a hard time dealing with all that is required of them at this crime scene. Authorities now say the death toll could have been much higher. That when Adam Lanza shot himself as police arrived, he still had a huge quantity of bullets left for his high-powered weapons. All weapons have multiple magazines and additional ammunition. As to his motive, officials tell ABC News that computers removed from the family home over the weekend provide important clues into Adam's twisted thinking. It was here that he killed his first victim, his mother, 52-year-old Nancy Lanza, who friends say had become increasingly concerned in the last few months about Adam's emotional and behavioral issues. It was just getting a little harder for her as um, you know, uh, time went on as he was um, getting through school. Adam's parents were divorced three years ago, and his mother was left to deal with him alone, according to her friends. We know we had a problem, but um, she, she took care of it the best she could. Since elementary school at Sandy Hook, until his mother homeschooled him in the 10th grade, Adam was known by classmates as Odd. He hated looking into your eyes for more than a couple seconds. He'd always look down at his paper or whatever he was doing. Before his mother pulled him out of high school for homeschooling, Adam was a member of the Tech Club. And the school's former security director, Richard Novia, who was close to Lanza, says the young man could feel neither emotional nor physical pain. If he had cut himself or hurt himself, he would not know it or feel it. Novia says Lanza had several disorders and was seeing the school psychologist. He would have periods of times when he would withdraw entirely unto himself, pretty much episodes. He would have to work hard to reach him again. Police this morning say when Lanza killed his first victim, his protector, his mother, he used the assault style rifle to kill her with several shots to the head, a gun that she owned legally and had used when she took her son to nearby gun rages for target practice, Elizabeth. And your expert in the piece saying he didn't feel any physical violence or uh, pain, any, any feel pain, physical actually. pain makes you wonder if that would also mean he didn't feel emotional pain as well.